The Yakuza series may just be the most ambitious and successful thing coming out of Sega these days. The fourth installment returns to the colorful den of vice known as the Kamurocho District, and the criminal drama is dialed up to the same over-the-top level as its sensational street violence. Does it decisively dominate its turf, or is the series lingering too long in familiar territory? <laughs> Yakuza 4 plays on its title by following four charismatic main characters through a lengthy central narrative that revolves around a massive police and Yakuza conspiracy. Events are cleverly plotted with each successive character arc revealing pieces of the broader puzzle before tying together for a dramatic conclusion that knowingly strains its realism and believability in order to achieve a clean and satisfying closure. You'll frequently encounter ample opt-in side material that serves to further develop characters or add some color to the setting. The story is complex and enjoyable as a whole, and while its tendency toward melodrama is clearly intentional, all the exhaustive exposition often bogs down the pace and obscures relevant information. Fortunately, your character's clear goals and personality are enough to propel you forward. <laughs> Everything goes down within a large, open city environment made up of various districts connected by pedestrian-only streets, rooftops, alleys, and underground areas. The street level, in particular, is dense in terms of visuals and potential interaction. The game's missions lead you all across town with clear markers. This ensures you build a familiarity with the environment and exposes you to numerous side stories, entertainment destinations, and wannabe tough guys who essentially demand to be crushed beneath your heel. You can avoid brawls if you're trying to push through the main story, but getting caught up in street fights gives you a welcome chance to vent your frustrations and master the combat system while leveling up your character's abilities. Subdued with extreme violence, your comically repentant attackers unfailingly offer up some kind of reward, whether it's energy drinks that will see you through more difficult fights, or spending money to indulge in your preferred hobbies and vices. <laughs> Kamurocho lives up to the game's fiction in offering something for almost every taste, with quick distractions and potential virtual hobbies that fit the fiction and the personalities of its characters. Nothing you do will ruin the game's freewheeling narrative consistency. Whether you're playing Mahjong or hitting up a massage parlor, what's good for the hardened Yakuza chairman works for the cop who doesn't determine right and wrong by the letter of the law. Thanks to profitable side quests and cash collected from bloodied punks, it's never too hard to scrape up some cash to fund your leisure activities. <laughs> All four playable characters share similar dispositions and a taste for justice, and they all have their own place in the city. The detective is often alerted to crimes through his police radio, for example, while the intimidating but kind-hearted hitman finds a surprisingly enjoyable opportunity to train students at a dojo, teaching them the value of self-respect through vigorous training and tough love. Certain characters can also access areas the others can't until everybody meets up for the final chapter. <laughs> Conflict in Yakuza 4 is settled in one of two ways, via a nice-looking cutscene or through explosive interactive violence. In most cases, it's the latter. Fights here are sensational spectacles that forego realism in favor of an acrobatic flair and amplified impacts. Basic fighting is about chaining light attacks into hard-hitting combo enders, while grappling techniques, counter-attacks, and weapons ensure a range of possibilities for any particular fight. Each of the four characters has a different style, which you'll develop with new abilities and techniques as you level up before moving on to the next character in line. Special techniques such as Detective Tanamura's parry and armbar moves, or Sejima's charges, make each character feel distinctive. You'll start with a quick, kick-focused loan shark, Akiyama, and ultimately take control of the leaning man of the series, Kazuma. Every character feels powerful, but the game essentially saves the best for last. Kazuma is an absolute beast of a fighter and master of all trades related to ass-kicking. A character's personality and style is clearly evident in their signature heat moves, which are among the best executed and most gratifying examples of the quick-time events that pervade modern action games. Each character has a personal arsenal of these excessive, flashy, and face-wrecking situational moves. They use weapons, the environment, and other enemies to deal incredible damage. 
Whether unlocked through a menu or learned by observing and analyzing an unlikely event, you'll want to actively seek out these brutal techniques so that you might put them into practice against deserving opponents. Your methods may sometimes seem excessive, but Yakuza's brand of justice really has no place for mercy. While Kamurocho has certainly seen some renovations, we've seen this place before. Few individual elements qualify as technically excellent, and the game shows a lot of rough edges in its visual presentation. Yet it's perhaps more successful in creating the illusion of a living city with simple character models and pop-up text, as other games are with a handful of detailed, fully voiced citizens. The impressive volume of quests, unique characters, locations, and cutscenes add up to an impressive sense of place. A few aspects of Yakuza's production are worth closer attention. You'll often find yourself scrolling through lines of dialogue after receiving a mega dose of information via cutscene. Even if you're into the story, the game is quite capable of boring you from time to time, though it won't be long before you're snapped out of your stupor by a shockingly violent finishing move or a gratuitous display of the feminine form. Even in table tennis, Yakuza 4 unflinchingly aims way over the top. Oh. Yakuza 4 builds on its history and its strengths, using four well-differentiated playable characters to multiply the value of its character-driven drama and exhilarating fights. The game sometimes feels dated and a bit too stodgily conventional, but its virtual tour of a bizarrely attractive, crime-soaked, hyperbolic slice of Japan, as seen through the eyes of its underworld nobility, is certainly worth taking. Mm-hmm. <laughs>